Hello, in today's video I'll introduce you to a few basic CAD programs that will allow you to design models for 3D printing and PCB manufacturing. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay, let's get into it. Alright, so my go-to program is Plasticity. Compared to other programs, I feel like Plasticity offers the best user experience in terms of how easy it is to navigate the program. It definitely has a learning curve, but compared to other programs, in my own personal opinion, it is a winner in ease of use. For designing PCBs, we're going to use a program called KiCad. From little experience that I have in designing PCBs, KiCad is fairly easy to understand, which I'll get into after I cover plasticity, for designing hard surface models. Hard surface models, essentially, are rigid geometric shapes that plasticity excels in being able to make. Well. You're the one who's going to be making them. Plasticity is just a tool at your disposal. Now, before I get everyone too excited about it, there is a 30-day trial that you can get, but it is a paid program. You'll find that a lot of CAD programs have some form of subscription. Plasticity pricing seems to be fairly reasonable. I myself have this license as it suits my needs. You'll have to explore what's best for you. All right, now that you've chosen your CAD program, let's try to create today's project, which will be a runway for smaller 3D model airplanes. The runway will consist of a rectangular circuit board with LED lighting. To begin, decide what your measurements are going to be. But if you're following alongside the video, then feel free to copy. All right, let's look at the first tool that we're going to be utilizing in plasticity, and that is the line tool. Line tool allows you to create shapes that you can use to extrude to a solid. You can also use the line tool to measure distance between two objects, create an outline of a reference image and bring it straight to plasticity, and export it for 3D printing. Such a simple tool, but yet so powerful. Now there are many other tools available on plasticity. I will do somewhat of a sped down introduction to some of the common tools, as to cover all of them would take too long for one video. Boolean tool. Selecting your first object will allow you to use your second object as a cutting tool if the boolean function is selected. Union tool will do the opposite. It will join two objects together. Loft tool allows you to select multiple curves and form a sheet that you can then thicken using the thicken tool. Loft tool is personally one of my favorite tools as it can create objects extremely fast. Now back to the runway, we have to consider the actual PCB that we will be implementing into the design. The thickness of the circuit board will be roughly 2 millimeters, but we do have to account also for other components that are going to be on the PCB. Because the amount of LEDs we're going to be installing doesn't require too big of a power supply, we can get away with simply using a 3 volt cell battery. Now the housing on this battery cell holder is what's going to amount the most for the height requirement. We will have to design it in such a way that the cell holder is at the bottom of the PCB and the lights are at the top. We know that the height of the PCB is 2 mm and the height of the cell holder is 3.7 mm. Lastly, we need to measure the actual LED itself, which gives us the total height of 6.2 mm. Now we can take this information with us to continue designing the runway. Let's make the 3D printed portion of it slightly bigger than the PCB. This way we can just rest the circuit board on top of the lip, which will let the LEDs protrude past the physical print, making them glow just like in the actual runway. Now for the top piece, we can create guidelines that are separate from the lid. The reason we want to do this is because when you will export the model for 3D printing, if you join these lines together, the slicing program won't be able to detect multiple objects. It will just consider this piece to be a singular object. There are a few things you could do. You could extrude these lines a little bit more, which will allow the slicing program to detect them as different objects, which would allow you to use a painting tool found in the slicing program and color these objects separately. Now, this is more for people who have an AMS system. I'm actually curious to see what portion of people who watch my videos have a 3D printer with no AMS. Uh, let me know down in the comments. This is not the end of the world. Uh, the model would just be designed in a different way for people with no AMS if they wanted to achieve this sort of result. You could design the runway as two pieces and physically join them together either by friction fit or gluing them together. Alright, now that we have designed the top piece, I'd like to shift my focus on the grass portion of the design. And for that, I'd like to utilize the fuzzy skin tool that is built into most slicing programs. 
This fuzzy tool will create a rougher, uneven texture on your print, so we can take advantage of that by pretending that it's a patch of grass. You can find this setting in your slicing program, usually under Special Mode. I will use Jungle Green PLA by Polymaker to print this patch of grass, which will then assemble alongside our runway. Alright, to start designing the PCB, you'll need a program called KiCad. I will leave the link in the description. Once you download it, open it up and head over to Schematic Editor. You have to go here first in order to make each component communicate with one another. I have a detailed 20 minute video that really slows down and explains everything you'll need to do to export your finished PCB and get PCB way to start manufacturing it for you. Alright, once you draw an outline for your design, click A to add a symbol. Search for a single battery cell. This will act as our power supply for the circuit. You will then right click the symbol and head over to properties. Click footprint and search for the actual physical real life component that this symbol will correspond to. In our case, this is a CR2032 battery holder. Now we need to add LEDs. We can do so by clicking A for add symbol. Search for LED, click OK. Right click properties and let's add the footprint for our tiny LEDs, which will be this 0805 LED. Now let's add the resistor the same way. Add the footprint 0805 for the resistor. Design a track from your power supply across all the components and back to the ground. You can click ERC test to make sure that there aren't any issues with your design. Click the top icon to switch to PCB Editor now. This is where you draw your actual physical circuit board. Now we do need to flip the battery holder onto the back of the PCB. You can do so by clicking F. As you can see, it's color coded. Now arrange your components the way you want them to be. In our case, we are trying to make it look like an actual runway. Now we really don't want to see the resistors on top of the board so you can flip them on the back the same way you did with the battery holder. Now when you're routing your circuit, make sure to click V for VIA. This will essentially create a transition between the top and the bottom layer, which will allow you to join resistors to LEDs on either side. Export all your layers, including bill of material, as you'll need to now upload it to PCBWay. Under PCB prototype, select your PCB's measurements and the amount of them you're trying to make. Then click Quote Now. You can upload your exported files by clicking Upload Gerber Files. You will want to make sure that they're all in a zip folder. And then select the file and click Upload. This will generate a preview of your design. You can choose what color your solder is going to be, the thickness of the actual PCB, you can ask PCBWay to have your PCB assembled, as that is one of the services they offer. Make sure to enter all the relevant information they're asking of you. And then when you're finally ready, submit your design and one of the reps will get back to you if there are any issues with your files. If there isn't, you can proceed to order your PCBs. Now in my case, I will wait for my PCBs to arrive, and then in the following video, I will showcase the full assembly of the runway. To stay tuned, please do consider subscribing. I really hope this video opened up new avenues that you can start exploring in creating your designs. If you stayed this long, I really appreciate it and I hope to bring you more content in the future. Take care.